Singapore conducts a census of population to collect comprehensive information on our population and households. Let us look back at how census taking in Singapore has evolved over the decades. Singapore's first census was taken as part of the Straits Settlement Census in April 1871, over 150 years ago. The Census Ordinance of 1880 constituted Singapore's first statistical legislation and the census in 1881 was conducted under this legislation. Subsequent censuses were conducted once every 10 years up to 1931. The Second World War delayed the next census taking to 1947. The second post-war census was conducted a decade later in 1957. Singapore's first population census after independence was conducted in 1970. This is in line with the United Nations recommendation for countries to undertake population census during the year ending in zero. Information was collected via traditional fieldwork. Census enumerators used hammer, nails and numbered cards to mark a house that had been covered. Once the face-to-face -face interviews were completed, responses recorded on paper forms were sent to the Census Office for data processing and compilation. The 1970 census moved away from punch cards to the use of computer processing. Since the 1990 census, the Singapore Department of Statistics has been using identification numbers of citizens, permanent residents and foreigners to match and link data from various government databases. Census forms were pre-printed with data for verification with respondents. The 1990 census was the last census to count 100% of the population. In 2000, Singapore conducted its first register-based census. Basic demographic data were obtained from administrative records for the entire population with only 20% of the households surveyed. The 2000 census adopted a tri-model data collection strategy comprising internet submission, computer-assisted telephone interviewing or CATI, and fieldwork. Singapore was one of the first countries to collect census information from households via the internet. Hard copy survey forms used by the interviewers were scanned and information captured was used for further data processing. The 2010 census continued with the register-based approach and tri-model data collection. In addition, ultra mobile personal computers were introduced for the few work interviews to capture data electronically at the point of collection. This greatly reduced the time and manpower required. For the 2020 census, respondents were able to use their SingPass to access their online submission form securely, easing the data submission process. Data were also pre-loaded in the system where possible. Tablets were used for few interviews and hard copy survey forms were eliminated. Latest technology and analytics were also used in data processing. Technology application facilitated a much leaner census operations. Over 2,000 enumerators were involved in the 1970 census, but the number was reduced to about 130 enumerators in the 2020 census. With continued advancements in technology and a tech-savvy population, census-taking has become more convenient and efficient. The department will continue to leverage technology and administrative data to ease census-taking. Rest assured that all information collected, whether from administrative sources or directly from households, is kept in confidence and remains protected. For more information, visit www.singstat.gov.sg.